What's up everybody? Justin here. Hope you're having a good weekend. I'm here to do my Ring of Honor TV review for October 15th, 2016. This is my Ring of Honor TV review. Hopefully, wherever you live, you get to watch Ring of Honor. Comes on every weekend. Sometimes in you know, different markets, Friday nights, Saturday afternoon, Saturday nights, Sunday nights. It even comes on here. Comes on four times in Milwaukee, but it also comes on at four in the morning on a Sunday morning. So it's on, it airs four times on the weekends where I live. So here we go. Hopefully you have. Hopefully you have uh, the CW, or hopefully it comes on my network TV wherever you live, to, so you can watch Ring of Honor. Up first, we had Ladder War Six. Ladder War Six, which took place at the last pay per view. Ladder War Six highlights of the Young Bucks becoming the new Ring of Honor Tag Champs. That match is epic, epic ladder match. If you didn't see it. It's, I think it's still available on YouTube. Somebody uploaded it. So try to find Ladder War 6 on YouTube and watch it. I recommend you watch it because it was great. So then out comes, to start the show, out comes a Bullet Club. Adam Cole, the Young Bucks, and Hangman Page all come out. Uh, one of the Young Bucks, I don't know which one. They cut a promo talking about they're the greatest tag team of all time and that they're the two-time, two-time, two-time Ring of Honor tag champs. And then Adam Cole gets on the mic and says it's time for who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby. And the crowd, of course, popped for that because they were ready for story time. And then Adam Cole says that Hangman Page will become the TV champion soon. And the Bullet Club runs Ring of Honor. The Bullet Club is going to have all the gold. And then with all the gold, the Bullet Club will have all the power. That's what Adam Cole said. So good promo to start the show from the Bullet Club. Now the first match we had, it was called a tag war. Keith Lee, Shane Taylor... A massive team. Um, I believe Shane Taylor. He's a, a bigger guy. He's kind of overweight. He has to be at least 330 pounds at least. He's a big guy, but he's pretty athletic. So Keith Lee, Shane Taylor, as I said, a massive team. They look like monsters. Up against War Machine in the tag war. And this match was a war. Start off fast and furious with War Machine diving through the second rope, diving to the outside, taking out Keith Lee and Shane Taylor. And then they brawl on the outside of the ring for probably the first five or ten minutes of the match. They're brawling and fighting on the outside, throwing each other into the barricades, just brawling. I don't know where the ref was. They should have been counted out. But maybe they climbed in the ring and broke. Broke the 20 count. I don't know. They must have broke the count. And I just didn't realize it. Because they are fighting on the outside a really long time. At least 5 or 10 minutes. So then they finally get back in the ring. And Hanson does a... Hanson gets backdropped over the top rope. And takes out two of the other team members. On the floor. Then in the ring. they, As I said. Then all four of them get in the ring. And finally. It's about time they all four get in the ring. But again. It was called a tag war. So that's what it was. A war. Then Rowan. Rowan gets. And hits a T-bone suplex. On like. The over 300 pound Shane Taylor. That was damn impressive. T-bone suplex by Rowan. And then Hansen was up. And he gets thrown into the corner. 
and flips over the corner like Ric Flair does a Flair corner flip. That's pretty funny that Hanson did that. And Hanson goes to the outside, off the top rope, gets caught in a choke slam, gets choke slam, sit out, power bombed. Hanson kicks out of that. Then Hanson gets double choke slammed by both guys, kicks out of that. And Hanson gets busted open. Somehow he got busted open. Maybe he bladed. I'm not sure. Maybe he had uh, scar tissue on his forehead. And he got punched too hard. And maybe that made him bleed. So Hanson is busted open. Shane Taylor then gets a backdrop and leg drop combination from War Machine. I think that's their finisher. Backdrop by Rowan. Hanson off the top rope with the leg drop. But Shane Taylor kicks out of their finish. Out of their tag team finish, I believe. That is their finisher. And then uh, Keith Lee goes up to the top and tries to do a moonsault. Keith Lee's like close to 300 pounds. He does a moonsault, but he misses. Then Rowan gets up and he hits a Canadian Destroyer. On Keith Lee. That was damn impressive. He hits a Canadian Destroyer. Big guy. Keith Lee actually flipped over. And got hit with the Canadian Destroyer. So then. one, two, three, War Machine wins it. After the Canadian Destroyer. By Roll. Rowan. And then after, right after. They get attacked. War Machine gets attacked with steel chairs. And. Right in the face, Rowan gets a chair bashed right in his face. It looked uh, pretty brutal. So, War Machine wins. It was a good tag match. There was a lot of brawling. There was, and it was good. I enjoyed it. Now we go to a Caprice Coleman of the Cabinet interview backstage promo talking about the six-man tag team tournament that the Cabinet is going to win. Up next, we have a six-man tag team tournament match. First round, the cabinet taking on three young guys I'm not really that aware of. I've never seen them wrestle before, but they have been in Ring of Honor before, I believe. So the cabinet, Kenny King, Reb Titus, Caprice Coleman, the cabinet, before they start the match, they take a knee. That was pretty funny. They take a knee for out of protest so the guys names were one of them was against the cabinet Ali Jason Kincaid and LSG LSG is for the guys initials I forget the rest of his name so this match is pretty entertaining as I said it was a first round match in the six man tag team tournament the cabinet's opponents, two of them went up to the top rope, one of them was in the corner and was going to run, and they were all going to do drop kicks. This was pretty insane. Springboard, coast to coast, double drop kicks, it turned into a triple. It was a triple drop kick in the corner to one of the members of the cabinet. That was awesome. So anyways, the cabinet wins, they go on in the tournament. I expected the cabinet to win in the six-man tag team tournament. Up next, we have the main event. Jay Lethal going up against Silas Young in the main event. This match started off great. A lot of great wrestling, a lot of great counters. It was great at wrestling. It was a great match. It could have been way longer, but they had TV time remaining. It was only like maybe 15 minutes left in the show when they started it so there wasn't that much time but the wrestling they did in the first five to ten minutes was great wrestling it was tremendous Jay Lethal wins it and Adam Cole came out he was on commentary the world champion was on commentary his future challengers at the next pay-per-view final battle will probably be Kyle O'Reilly, Lethal, and probably Silas Young. It'll probably be a four-way match or four-corner survival, or maybe it'll be a triple threat or just a one-on-one -on -one match. I'm not sure. 
but the next challengers for the Ring of Honor World title will probably be Lethal, Kyle O'Reilly, or Silas Young. We'll challenge for the title next, probably on pay-per-view at Final Battle. So Jay Lethal dove to the outside, did three, three dives through the ropes. That was awesome. And then Adam Cole decides, he gets off commentary, says, I'm going to go check this match out and get a closer look. So Adam Cole starts walking to the ring. Well, behind him is Kyle O'Reilly. Turns him around, starts beating up the champ Adam Cole, drilling him with the right hands. They go to the ringside, they keep fighting, keep brawling. Kyle O'Reilly ends up on the ring apron and is standing on the ring apron, and then Silas Young pushes him off. Silas Young gets distracted by Kyle O'Reilly. Jay Lethal rolls up Silas Young. One, two, three. As I said, Jay Lethal wins it. And then Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole get in the ring, and all four guys are fighting each other. Kyle O'Reilly hits a brain buster on the champion Adam Cole. He's out. You know, Silas Young somehow got the world title and is holding up the world title. Jay Lethal, Silas Young, Kyle O'Reilly, all of them are staring at each other like they're going to have a showdown over the world title. Silas Young holding up the world title, and that is how the show ends this week for Ring of Honor's TV review for October 15th. Hope you enjoy my Ring of Honor TV review. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Also follow me at NXT WWE Guy. Also subscribe to my YouTube, like my videos, share my videos, and uh, give me thumbs up. I guess that would be like my videos. Watch my past videos, watch my past Ring of Honor pay-per-view predictions and reviews in my Ring of Honor pay-per-view predictions and review playlist watch my past ring of honor tv reviews in my ring of honor tv reviews playlist hope you enjoyed this ring of honor review bye for now everybody